of Mutalisks in the first place. He, um, he, he hasn't uh, built a lot of them, so he hasn't spent a lot of money on them. Uh, I could be wrong. It looks like he only built uh, six or seven, maybe eight Mutalisks there. And he's already got Lurkers morphing. So, so uh, things looking kind of bad for Dark Elf here. He's going to have to make a move pretty soon. He's just staying in his base. He's waiting. I mean, I, I, it's not dumb or anything. He's waiting for his Science Fossils to come out. Um, but um, in the meantime, he's allowing Luxury to get that third base, probably a fourth base up soon. He's allowed Luxury to get these Lurkers out in his front door, actually. It looks like Luxury actually trying to move in, set up a little bit of a containment here. He may actually even go in for an attack um, uh, with these Lurkers. He doesn't have any Lings to back up. If he had some Lings, then this would be a very, very dangerous situation for, for Dark Elf. He does have a couple Comsat stations. His Science Vessels are going to be out in just a minute, so he's going to be able to spot this. But uh, it's still, uh, you know, not quite a, a good situation. <laughs> Lone Firebat running up to that base. <laughs> Luxury's going to have to bring his Mutalisks all the way back to the top left-hand corner of the map to kill that Firebat. Um, that's funny. But uh, it's better than losing a few drones to that Firebat, I guess. So now he's got the, the Vessel out and the tank. So he's got, usually you see, I mean, Terrans only have so much gas. And you, they have to split their gas between either Vessels or Tanks. Uh, and sometimes they go heavy on the tanks and only one or two vessels. Sometimes they'll go for a lot of vessels and, and even no tanks sometimes. Um, so in this case, uh, Dark Elf has chosen to kind of split it up. I mean, tanks are good against lurkers, especially if you can spot with the science vessels. Um, so I think that's a good move on his part. Um, he knew those lurkers were coming, apparently, and decided to go for the tanks. Um, he does not have EM... I'm sorry, EMP, yeah. EMP. He doesn't have EMP researched yet. He can knock all the energy out of the lurkers. Um, no, he doesn't have a radiate researched either, though. Uh, so, so, uh, but I think that that vessel's been out for a minute. So as soon as the radiate is finished uh, researching, he's going to have an irradiate. So, um, uh, pretty much the mutal harass is is gone. Usually, you see uh, players will kind of almost throw away their mutalisks in a big attack kind of the mid-game attack to see if the Zerg can can take out the Terran. Uh, they usually throw in all their Yitlings and all their Mutalisks and all their Lurkers on the Terran army just to whittle the Terran army down, get it as small as possible, and, and if they can win that battle and take out the Terran army, then um, then they march in and destroy them. Um, but uh, it, it, it all comes down to Micron, how well they can defend. Oh, it needs blow. Oh, nice, nice. Bringing those science vessels back just in time. He even split them, it looked like, to try and attack each science vessel with one scourge. I'm not sure if he knew what those vessels were or not. Um, I could be wrong about that. Uh, but it looks like a Luxury actually has a huge army on the right side of the map. I don't know if uh, Dark Elf knows that that army is over there. And so he could go for a flank. There we go. That's the other thing that they use the Mutalisks for, though, is taking out science vessels. Sometimes they'll run in with a squad of uh, with the remaining Mutalisks and the Mutalists take the damage, and the Scourges can then land on the uh, Science Vessels. That's another possibility. Uh, and it looks like that's... But he didn't have Scourges with that, unfortunately. If he had Scourges with those Mutalists, then, then uh, Dark Elf would not have any Science Vessels right now. He's still only at two Science Vessels. He's only pumping out of one Starport here. Um, just kind of roaming around the map, uh, trying to vibe for position. He needs to make sure... I mean, he's, he's basically... He wants to attack. He's got the forces to attack. He's got the forces to set up a nice little attack uh, with uh, tanks sieging sunkins and medic marines to protect and science vessels as well. But he needs to make sure he doesn't get caught out of position in flank. And this is all. Oh, this is looking. This is this is going to be either brilliant by Dark Elf or, or catastrophic for him. Now the medic marines protecting from this. Oh, scourges coming in. Scourges take out one vessel. He's still got two vessels. Um, but there are a ton of lurkers. Oh my goodness. This is I. I, basically what I see coming is a huge, huge flank, and Swarm goes down. He has Swarm. Dark Elf is dead. Dark Elf is absolutely hosed now. I don't think there's any way he can defeat this because now he's going to have a huge army coming in from the side. There's no way he can move in on, on his main. Oh, and, and Dark Elf very intelligently moving out, pulling out of that position. That was close. That was close. If he had not pulled out of that position, he would have been so screwed because he would have had forces coming in from both sides. He does anyways. Tons of Mutalists coming in with, with oh my gosh, Lings underneath them. He does manage to take out the Scourge before the absolutely crazy, ridiculous battles going on here. Very, very nice micro, I have to say, by Dark Elf. I was not expecting him to survive that, but he did anyways. Um, uh, I think the, the reason he survived, though, is because uh, Luxury did not go in with his Lurkers as well. He kept some of his Lurkers back 
Um, could could have you know luxury does not have the best multitasking. He's got good multitasking, but not the best. So it's possible he may not have been able to uh, to manage standing in those lurkers at the same time. Uh, but it's hard to tell. Um, looks like uh, Dark Elf is trying to go up to this northern uh, area now to try and take that out. He's got a significant force at his main, uh, and that's moving out as well uh, to try and uh, engage Luxury's army in the middle so that Luxury cannot defend this base in the top left. Uh, and uh, yeah, but Swarm is going down. He's got that Ninus Canal. If, if Luxury can get some forces over to um, his top left base, we'll call it the 10 o'clock base, uh, the main base there, uh, well, it's not his main base, but it's one of the spawns, then um, he can... Yeah, there's the Defiler. So he's going to probably be able to defend this now. The Marines coming in. Swarm goes down right on those Marines. Dark Elf not stimming his Marines to get out of the way. If They they might have been stimmed. It looked like maybe one was stimmed, but the medics were getting in the way. And all his forces getting bottlenecked going up the, the ramp. Swarm goes down on the ramp. A few medics and Marines get taken out there as well. And uh, in the meantime, Luxury is held in... Uh, for, uh, Dark Elf's uh, force into his main base uh, with this little bit of a contain. Lots of lurkers. There was some swarm there as well. And managed to fend off this attack at his top left base. Uh, Dark Elf, uh, Dark Elf uh, has countered by getting a third expansion of his own. Uh, and now he's floating a science facility, off, a science facility out. That would be awesome if he sucked up the scourges with the science facility. Um, although um, I'm not sure if a Luxury would be uh, foolish enough to fall for that. Yep, yep, he is. No, 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 I'm right. I'm sorry that they are going after. He sent them after the science vessel. Um, but again, uh, uh, getting shot down. I don't think he's landed a single scourge on uh, science vessels except for that one hit where he, he nailed the science vessel. Um, but he does get a nice plague off on those medic marines. So that medic marine group is basically neutralized. Um, so essentially, Dark Elf does not have that expeditionary force outside of the containment of his main base anymore. Um, although, oh, well, I guess it looks like he's, he can pull around, uh, get that force back to his main. I forgot about the ramp. Like I said, this is a new map. This is only the second game I've watched on this, uh, on this map. And so I, I didn't, I forgot about that other ramp kind of around the side. So he's going to be able to pull his forces in behind his natural there, regroup with his main force. So now, uh, Dark Elf's army is regrouped into one. He needs to be careful of those science vessels though. Dropship out, dropship out. Luxury has seen it. He's probably got scourges on the way, but the question is if he has scourges near enough, to that, oh, Dark Elf running tanks through Lurker Fire, just under, oh man, see, there's the Scourges, Marines dropping out just in time to kill off one of the Scourges, he's going to go in for a little bit of attack, try and snipe some tech buildings, Firebats going in to occupy the Zerglings while he attacks the Spire, that Spire is probably going to go down, in the meantime, Dark Elf has also moved out and uh, and taken out, I didn't see if the Spire went down or not, um, but the Dark Elf has moved out and, and, uh, and taken out the, that group of Lurkers with some nice uh, tank fire, I mean, uh, moving those tanks while while Luxury was distracted. Luxury had pulled his forces back a little bit. Um, in fact, I'm not sure where exactly he went um, with his other forces. He needed some backup. He needed some defilers over those uh, over those lurkers, but he did not have uh, some swarm over the lurkers from defilers, rather. He did not have it. Some nice plague going off on those science vessels, though. That puts him in prime position to come in and uh, snipe a few of those science vessels. If he can do that, he can again even things back up. But at this point, even off of one starport, he may have a second by now, but mostly off of one starport, um, he's been able to build up a lot of science vessels and now get a fourth base. Wow, Dark Health has a fourth base. And uh, even though Luxury has uh, five bases at this point, uh, one, two, three, four, five, he's actually going to probably lose, he may lose this one here. And uh, if he does, then it'll be four bases on four bases. And uh, that will not be a good situation at all. Um, I'm sorry there, I, I just, I know it's not noticeable to you, but I just uh, <laughs> took a phone call and uh, did some other things I had to take care of. Uh, so I'm going to have to try and jump back into my train of thought here. But uh, the, unfortunately, the fact of the matter is I know that I, I probably should have just gone back and tried to edit it or something like that. But, uh, oh, nice. Luxury coming in here with some, he looks like actually Luxury invading uh Dark Elf's uh, base here, he might be able to take out a base too at this rate. Uh, but in any case, the fact of the matter is that I, I just, um, I don't have the time to go back and edit it properly, so it was either um, do this and hopefully it's still synced. It might not be synced uh, perfectly, but uh, the other alternative was that I wouldn't be able to release this today, and so I know a lot of people like to watch them all in sequence, so I'm um, I, I figured it'd probably be the, the lesser of two evils to have it possibly be a little out of sync and have that interruption than 
to have it people waiting for the next matches. But in any case, uh, things are actually looking a little bit bad for Dark 